Chase Hudson says, you see Netanyahu's speech in front of the US Congress? No, I can't watch that crap. I already know what their agenda is. So we already know what their agenda is. What do we need to watch? Watch them sell it or pretend to be able to... Well, they are trying to sell it to their population in Israel, the supremacist, fanatic, chosen people, mofos that can kiss my ass, and trying to convince Americans that, yes, the every representative in Congress, you know, saluting them, right? And here's a kicker with what you saw in that video. I've read some stuff about it. I saw clips, you know, people standing up clapping. It's just a clown show. It's just a circus. It's a joke, right? But from what I understand, many uh, Congress members didn't attend, right? So they treated like the Academy Awards, which I don't watch. <laughs> Academy Awards can kiss my ass too, right? And so all these elites, you know, patting themselves on the back and writing blank checks for themselves on taxpayers' dimes. I don't give a rat's ass about them other than seeing them in jail or removed from power, right? But they treated like the Academy Awards. So a lot of Congress members didn't show up. So what they did, they used extras. They put extras, people who weren't Congress members, just bodies to fill up the empty seats to make it look like it was a, it was a full house, right? And kudos to one of the members of Congress, which I really don't like too much, uh, one of the members of Congress where she just sat there with the Palestinian scarf and held up a sign saying you're a war criminal or something along those lines. That's what every Congress member that didn't show should have done, actually. Right. Initially, I applauded them not going there, but uh, actually, that's what they should have done. They should have just filled up the seats so they didn't do the whole academy more, put a body in there, make it look like a packed house. Right. Sit there, at least show the world that what 20 percent, 30 percent of the members of Congress do not agree with genocide. Right. Do not support genocide. Chase continues. Uh, I'll read the sentence again. Uh, you see Netanyahu's speech in front of U.S. Congress. I felt sick to my stomach seeing all the people who supposedly represent us clapping, cheering, and worship for an evil genocidal clown. Yeah, and it's all linked up to Epstein, right? And APAC, right? Money, money, money. Pedophilia and linked up to the Olympics and all that jazz, right? Same shit. Talking about jam. Oh, I'm way behind talking about jam on Twitch. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> worse than you, worse than idiocracy. Yeah, worse than Remy for sure. Mafio salutations. Chicho, the U.S. Congress was a disgrace 100%. The U.S. Congress has been a disgrace for a number of years, for at least 24 years, except when you know there's a handful of them that are good. Uh, Massey, uh, back in the day would have been uh, Dennis Kucinich, Ron Paul, right? Um, um, Cynthia Mc, Mc, uh, Cynthia McKay, Mc, the black congresswoman that questioned 9-11, where APEC threw in tons of money to try to get her kicked. Cynthia McKinley, she was amazing. She was really good, right? You want that? You, you want what do they call it? The DEI or whatever it is. Cynthia McKinley, I think, black woman with a PhD, right? And APEC went hardcore on her, uh, on her, and got her kicked out. Right? Disgusting, disgusting. What a revolution this is going to be.